So we have uh, two dishes in this show, I think. We can do a broccoli with pork. It's called the broccoli pork. And then the next one is called a scramble egg with some crab. Right here. A bunch of crab right here. And some green peas and some ham. All this put them together. And then we have this, uh, what is, whatever you call, scramble egg. And if you don't like ham, you can use bacon. And uh, you can use whatever you want and put them together. There's an Americanized name called Egg Fu Young. And that's what we are trying to do. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's put on the little apron and then find out what the heck we have. Aprons are interesting. There you are. <laughs> Thank you. This apron was sent in from a lady who lived in Calgary, Alberta. It's so funny because there was another lady who lived in San Francisco, California, also sent in the same thing. These two ladies must be twins. <laughs> because they have the same thinking. They're thinking the same. <laughs> now, let's get down to business. Is to have some uh, vitamin C right here. A broccoli a day keep the vitamin C away. <laughs> you look at the nutritional book, they will tell you. So I want to keep the vitamin away for three days. So I'm using three pieces of broccoli. Now, you cut the flower let off, just like that, okay? Cut it off, and then get a walk cover. Cut up all the broccoli, just shovel it right there. Just like that. Cut it to the bite-sized pieces. Depends on the size of your mouth. There, put it there. Now, when it comes to the stock, of the broccoli. You don't throw it away. You just cut it, you know, this way. Oh, diagonally, slices. Then it won't take long to cook. See, that's it. You just get all the way. Ho, oh, that's all. Now this is good to feed the whole village because there's three pieces of broccoli. Now, if you don't want to cook that much, you can adjust it to yourself. See, this is the nice thing about my cooking, is I never follow my own recipe. <laughs> and then you never know what is going to turn out. There is always a surprise. And also a lot of pressure for you to do the cooking. Because it might not turn out. No, it will turn out if you pay attention to your cooking. Pay respect to it. Cut up all those uh, little onions and the ginger root, just like that, eh? Now, oh, there you are. And then some of this called uh, garlic. Oh, that's it. There's a skin of garlic, just like that. Ho, ho, ho. And then it comes to the pork. Two ounces of pork for 20 people. <laughs> you cut it into 20 pieces, <laughs> so there will be no fighting. And of course, there will be no biting, just one piece. You can keep it in the mouth like the chewing gum. And don't swallow it, it will last forever. No, I'm just kidding. Of course, I'm going to cook up another piece of this pork to make it four ounces. This is a pork, I think. This is a big pork. There's a lot of fat, you know, there. Okay. Like that, get rid of those things. I always throw all those uh, fat part, you know, down there to my brother who lives downstairs. <laughs> Hi, brother! <laughs> That's what it is. Hmm. Sometimes, you know, you see something come up from there. That's uh, what we call the walk goes down, must come up. 
Now you get all those things. And then put it there into a little transparent pot so that everybody can see what you are cooking. All right, now then we are ready. Oh, and my grad is ready. My goodness, I can hardly wait. Now you just tidy up, tidy up your counter. Just like that. And then you also do it like this. Oh. Not too good. That's it. Just go like this, huh? I don't have to clean the floor. So it doesn't bother me at all. That's quite a real rhyme, isn't it? I don't have to do the floor, so it doesn't bother me at all. You put some of this uh, Chinese cooking wine. Then you're ready to dine. Then you put some of this, uh, what is this anyway? <laughs> oh yeah, just put some in, he said. Five spice powder to spice up the pork. This is really interesting. You've never seen anything like that. Oh yeah, you turn on the stove, you cook better that way. And then put some of this uh, light soy sauce. Really light. Just one teaspoonful. So light, even the chopstick has to get up. <laughs> you mix this thing up, of course. Oh, wow, we are ready. Isn't it? You just hear the walk. Two tablespoonful of this uh, peanut oil. One and two. That's it. And then you put, put all those things in. When the oil is hot, Chinese peanut oil has a fantastic smell. And also give you the nice temperature. When it's hot, it will give you the holy smoke. Now you put all those uh, spicy vegetables in. Okay? Put it in, and then you put all the pork in afterwards. Pork. Pork from the pig. That's called the pig pork. Pig pork. Now, so let it cook for one minute. Okay, now one minute, just like that. Start timing. And you get a little, what we call the tapioca starch. One tablespoon roll, you know what it is. White in color. And put some water there. Using this a Chinese director, directing the water right down. <laughs> Very interesting, isn't it? Then you push the pot. Once in a while. Okay, the pot is uh, having this heat treatment. Heat treatment, so that it will be ready. All right, stir this, dissolve this, put some sesame seed oil there, give you a nice smell, and then put some oyster flavor sauce, something like that. We are almost ready. Now, then we'll put all the vegetables in. All these vegetables. And then put some salt, half teaspoonful. And then you mix this thing up. Of course, of course. See, that's very easy to do, isn't it? Now, what do you do now? You put a little bit of cooking wine, tiny cooking wine, and water. Oh, two rounds. Covered with a Chinese muffler. <laughs> to cut down the noise, of course. Now, we are getting ourselves organized, I think. Now, you watch this. First, I want to show you a little carrot. This is the carrot I cut up. And all you have to do is just get your knife here. Now, make your petal, you know, like this. Hey, okay, now, let one, and then you go like that. And then you cut it this way. Again, three, and cut the five petals. All right, once you get all the petals cut up now, you just use a knife to start out this way. Then you can go around like that. Once you get it organized and you go to the center and use a knife and make a circle cut. The circle around, go up and down. When you cut this circle, you go up and down like that. Okay, up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, so that you won't uh, cut yourself. Okay, you go up and down. And then you get rid of the, the ring. 
now. There you are. Now, once you get that, you, you start out the same pedal again, in between this uh, pedal. Okay, just go like this. And then keep going, using a pawn at night. Just go around, circle like this. Okay, and make your pedal, five of them. And then you go inside, make your circle cut up and down, up and down, up and down. Just like this. Oh, yeah. Got it. Another ring. Then you keep going until it becomes like this. Now, here is a carrot roll. Okay. Now, our broccoli is ready. So you put all the, the tapioca starch and oyster sauce, you know, uh, sauce, the whole thing. Thicken it up. Then we are okay. I think we are okay. We are okay. Now, then you wait until it comes to a boil. If you like, you just use a few drops of this uh, peanut oil. Okay, few drops. Then the whole food will look even more shinier. Shinier. Shinier, that's what it is. Then we are ready. You just take up your wok. Dump them into the... It's a little plate. This is your pork with broccoli. Don't walk away.